Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. Today, Steve, we are talking about visors. Visors. Again. Uh -huh. All right. So we're going to go over a question that we get almost every single day. Every day. This is probably, outside of anything specifically about face masks, this is probably the most asked about question that we get. Right. Which is basically, will the, are those visors legal? Which is such Those a... being whatever it is that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I want to go over the high school rules. It's typically the way that this works is the NFL, NCAA, high schools, middle schools, CFL, they all have the same rule. Okay. Got that? I think so. And that rule is visors are allowed if they're 100% clear. Unless you have a specific doctor's note. If you have a doctor's note, then you can wear a tinted visor. Like? No colors. Like beast mode. Right. Like beast mode. Gotcha. Yes. And there's some other guys that wear tinted visors. They have doctor's notes and because sensitive eyes and all that. Sure. Um, so we get questions all the time. Hey, can I wear this? I'm in middle school. Can I wear this visor? I'm in high school. Can I wear this visor? And the answer is always going to be check with your coach first. Okay. The rule states the visor has to be 100% clear. Now, there it is open to interpretation as to what a 100% clear means. Sure. Okay. None of the visors on this table, they're not, well, they're not clear. Right. Actually, the, these two visors here have, ins they're clear visors and they have inserts in them. See that? Yep. So without the inserts, then they are clear. The mm -hmm. purpose of the insert is to be able to easily put it in, t put it in, take it out. So you can have a clear visor during games. Then you can put in a, the insert and tint the visor during practice. The rest of these visors here are all tinted. Actually, this one has an insert here too. Um, but the terminology that's being used is used, has different intent, we'll say. Okay, Does that make explain, sense? maybe. So here, here's how it goes. Uh, when the people making the rules for visors in football in general, the intent of the rule is not it has to be a hundred you know they, they don't care about the or i don't think that they care about the actual color of the plastic of the visor no what they want is they want to be able to see your pupils through the visor from the outside in so if you get your bell rung yep. and you potentially have a concussion or there's something wrong they can go and they can look into your eyes and they can see whether or not your pupils are dilated or if you're able to follow the finger basically whether or not you're okay right right and if they can't see your eyes it's a problem they don't want to just yank your helmet off because that could make things worse if there is a problem a neck injury or something like exactly that. so it's very very important that the refs and the coaches can see the eyes when they need to you know for medical reasons mm -hmm. right so the intent of the rule is you gotta be able to see your eyes for that reason okay okay and that's my interpretation of the rule however the rule clearly states Pfizer has to be 100% clear. Yeah, and that's where it gets tricky because... It, it does because now we're dealing with a world that is the optics world. You're mm -hmm. talking glasses, anything that, that deals with glass or plastic and tinting. The 100% terminology here is the amount of light that's transmitted through the piece of glass or the piece of plastic. For example, you see some cars with tinted windows and you know limo tint, which is 5% tint. That means 95%, the other 95% is getting blocked. It only allows 5% of light through. Correct. Okay. So the smoke 40 visor that Shock has, that means 40% of the light is able to come through. Right. And that means it's 60% tinted. Right. And I believe it's Oakley has a 20%, a 40%, and a 60%. Mm-hmm. So that that percent number, that's how much light is coming through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All actually all of the tinted shock visors are all tinted at 40%. And then col colors are put on them and then a mirror finish is put on them to, to, to give it the look that you know they are. There they also have or shock has five different colored clear visors. So guess what, Steve? They're colored, but they're clear. They're colored, but 100% of the light comes through. So that's why we can't just simply answer the question, are these allowed? Because we don't know, so technically. It right, it depends on how the coach and the ref is interpreting the 100% clear rule. 
and if maybe, they're interpreting as just like as you said, the amount of light that's being transmitted through the visor, they're fine. Yeah. But if they're interpreting it as I want them, to, I, they they need to be perfectly, you know, in their minds clear. They could have no color, could have no other types of coating whatsoever. Right. Then they're not fine. Yeah, it's interesting, and um, you know, after watching this. I hope we are we're trying to educate people on making the right decision. No coach is going to let you wear a tint advisor during a game, right. unless you have a doctor's note, and then even that's just going to be just tint. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, there's a lot of coaches. Most coaches will let you wear whatever you want during practice. Well, it kind of makes sense. If you're in high school, your games are typically going to be on Friday night. It's going to be dark. You're under exactly. the lights. You don't gonna really want. want a tint advisor then or anyway. No. And when do you practice, Steve? Yep. Two, right three. in the middle of the afternoon. Exactly when the, <laughs> when the sun is right beaming. It's not it's not even directly overhead. It's right in your yeah. in your eyesight for somebody. Whether it's the guy throwing the ball or the guy catching the ball. Exactly. Right. So tint advisors during practice, in my mind, make a lot of sense under those conditions. Mm -hmm. So check with your coach. They're the ones that have the ultimate say over all of this stuff. Um, and you'll notice actually all the way up to the NFL level, some of these shock clear color advisors are used by players in the game. Yeah, just the other day we noticed um, somebody was wearing, I believe it was a rainbow one, right? Who was that? Uh, well, we don't want to get him in trouble, Steve. Uh, just in right. case no one notices. You're right. I'll, I'll tell you what, you tell us who it is. All right. Uh, leave your comments below. <laughs> who out there is wearing, at, le at least there's one guy. Yeah, we saw it. All right, well, so since Steve, real quick, don't forget we still have a, um, a helmet giveaway that we're doing. We're about to hit 8,000, or we just went over 8,000 subscribers. When we get to 10, we're giving this helmet away. It's coming up quick. So go up up here mm -hmm. and uh, click that and follow that. Follow the instructions to win the helmet. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.